And for more on this year's World Economic Forum, I'm joined now by Michael Sinkata. He's a business professor at Georgetown University, and he specializes in marketing and international business strategy. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. I'm delighted to be here. A real boost for the European Union, the ECB pledging to buy 60 billion in euros every month. Tell us what this will mean for the 19 nations using the currency. Well, um, there, there is the feeling by some that the 60 billion a month is on the high end and expectations have been around 50 billion. But if you, if you expand that to an entire year and look back at the problems we were facing in the U.S. in terms of uh, uh, shortage of money, uh, we also invested about 700 billion at a time. So the Europeans are not totally out of it in terms of these amounts. Uh, but the question is, what happens and how does one plan, how do government budgets, for example, change when money is free? Because that's essentially what the ECB is saying. We heard a very impassioned speech from Ukrainian President Poroshenko, but are Ukraine and Russia any closer to a diplomatic solution? Did this warm the relations at all after this? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether the World Economic Forum necessarily has led to uh, closer relations between Russia and Ukraine, but I do believe that uh, primary exponents like Angela Merkel from Germany have been very clear in their desire to move on from conflict and to begin with cooperation. And that clarity, together with lower oil prices, which of course do hurt President Putin and uh, the country, perhaps make a good contribution to a more peaceful approach. Tell us, there have been some backroom deals going on, what I'm reading anywhere, where Francois Hollande of Paris is actually trying to secure ammunition and support in the fight against the Islamic State, obviously in, in light of the terror that, that France recently witnessed. Can you tell us more about this? Well, I, I must say I was not part of the backroom discussions. <laughs> Uh, much to my irritation, I should add. Yes. Uh, but but uh, clearly, the idea of uh, taking new steps, looking at a new world order, is extremely important because conditions are changing. They have already changed, but they will continue to change. And in both in terms of simple things like uh, how how to vote. Who can vote? How far can voters reach and how quickly can they reach, let's say, in terms of a referendum? That's only a tiny proportion of how our context, how our approach will change. Well, Professor Sinkata, we really appreciate it. We could talk to you all day, but we have to go now. Thank you so much for your time and your, and your thoughts on the 2015 World Economic Forum. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure.